Uh, hi, this is uh, W0TM, also known as Wotum. I don't often do a video, which means my view count is probably low. Uh, I hope someone else picks this up and uh, makes it viral because I believe it is important. Uh, unlike many on YouTube, I only um, do videos when something is really, really, really important, and I believe this is. Um, Mandela effect is real. Uh, I've known about it for a long time, been waiting for it, hoping that no one would um, attempt uh, to do it. Uh, it's just called the Mandela Effect for reasons that you probably have already read. It could be called anything. It's more so merging of dimensions. I, as the few of you that uh, have watched me on a regular basis, um, haven't broadcast for a long time, but write me and so forth, know that I am a devotee of Nikola Tesla and have been since the age of 14 when I was given a book on Nikola Tesla by my science teacher for, of all things, helping him get a ham radio license. Um, won't get into all that, but I read that book and I was just fascinated. Uh, I was you know, essentially an orphan, you know. My mother was in and out of psychiatric facilities after the death of my father when I was age 10. I helped raise my brother and sister and we managed to duck the child welfare uh, welfare people who thought there was no adult in the house and were trying to catch us to put us into adoption and at the at my age even at my young age I was not going to let our family break up I had an aunt that uh, for various reasons could not adopt us but was nice enough to uh, appear at appropriate times to appear to be my mother and tricked the welfare people. They couldn't do it today. There's too many records and, you know, yada yada and so forth, but they did it then. I, I reached uh, maturity. Uh, my sister and brother are both adults. Everybody's doing fine. Uh, and they're still working, they have good job, or my sister's working, my brother's retired, I'm retired, but we made it, everything went fine, life was okay. Anyway, I was fascinated by Tesla to the point that uh, through a book lending program that was, and still is I think, in the Kansas City area, which is where I live, that you could check out a book from any library, like within 50 miles. Um, at the time, everything Tesla had written, had done, so forth, had been put into print and uh, was freely available. I checked out every single book and read them to the point where I had them memorized. I then did experiments, testing, um, trying out his methods, and I actually made some of them work. Uh, I came up with uh, some free radio parts through a ham radio program that, I uh, won't we'll get into that, but I was able to generate several million electrostatic volts, which means no amperage but high voltage, which is a very much a key to much of what Tesla had. Tesla, in his work, 
uh, to get down to it, uh, said that there is more than the dimension we live in, there are multi-dimensions, and he went on, if you really read in depth, to describe some of those dimensions, and if you really went in depth, you could uh, figure out how to view at least some of those dimensions. Uh, he, being braver than me, I think, figured out a way to actually visit, so he said, um, claimed several of the dimensions, and in those said that uh, there's at least 24 dimensions besides the four that we know, which is uh, you have to include time to come up with four dimensions, but um, I consider time to be a dimension. Anyway, I simulated that. Uh, I was able to peer, look into dimensions up to the tenth dimension. Um, I've said this to friends several times who, of course, thought I was crazy. And uh, I pretty much have kept things to myself uh, other than continuing to study many of Tesla's works. At the age of 16, I, and his anti-gravity uh, theory, I managed to launch uh, from outside a pair of pliers into the atmosphere which by now is probably somewhere past the planet uh, Pluto, back when Pluto was a planet. Uh, I could never get a anti-gravity. I couldn't direct it. I could cause things to levitate, but they would go wild, they would jump, they would jitter, you know. Uh, what good is that? Well, I went on to work for the Atomic Energy Commission, who, in a sense, essentially drafted me because they learned through papers I wrote for school of some of the Tesla work that I did, anti-gravity, uh, time, space, um, uh, faster than the speed of light, you know, many things that Tesla did and uh, theories that he had, he had some theories that he could never make possible because when he died, when he was murdered, as far as I'm concerned, he was murdered in 1943, uh, the technology that he needed was not invented yet. Well, by the time I got to it, in the early 1960s, it had been invented. Things like diodes, transistors, um, oh, you know, other gadgets, technologies, inventions, I was able to do uh, inventions or prove uh, theories that he could only guess at. Um, I didn't pursue it much further uh, knowing that, uh, you know, what is the world, I, I, even though I was only like 18, I thought, gee, you know, if, if anti-gravity uh, is given to the world, or free energy, like for instance, I had a motor that I kept running for five years with no uh, power going into it until I turned it off. Um, moving things, and, uh, you know, burning coal and oil and natural resources and so forth, all of that represents like 90% of the world's activity. It represents 90% of the fortunes right down to the person that has $25 in the bank. Um, it rep you know, all of those things if we had true anti-gravity and had the ability with 3D, which is now coming up, 
true 3D to make anything we want at the push of a button, anything except for life, and that's being worked on, and I believe life is being created from nothing right now. I don't have proof of that, but uh, uh, that's dangerous. Anyway, uh, where we are now is that Tesla said the dimension, we're the first dimension. Uh, we are number one. Uh, Tesla said that. Uh, he said number two is almost like us. It's almost a mirror. It's almost, you know, like 99%. Um, he went on to say, he talked about other dimensions, uh, the fourth and fifth dimension. Uh, he didn't like too much because, um, well, I'll just say it, Satan uh, Belzebub, Lucifer, whatever you want to call it, him, uh, controls or has the fourth and fifth and maybe the sixth dimension. I have peered into those dimensions and I definitely did not want to go into those dimensions. I peered into the seventh dimension and it was a brilliant white light that filled the entire dimension. Tesla, in books, in writings, that have supposedly been destroyed, you go to um, the Library of Congress and you look up those numbers that a number of books, writings that Tesla did, which I have read, uh, I won't tell you how I got to read them, but I did. I read them all and I have a very good memory um, I could almost recite what he wrote. Um, he said, you know, he considers the seventh uh, dimension as being the dimension of God. I know this sounds crazy, but hey, the Mandela effect sounds crazy. Eighth and ninth is just random, and I could find nothing above the 10th dimension, and in fact, Tesla said uh, he had gone up to the 24th dimension and found that uh, he couldn't find anything. And he said the dimensions go far beyond that, but uh, he stopped at number 24 because he couldn't find anything. Uh, and I couldn't find anything either. So why are there dimensions above the ninth dimension, which is the last one that has anything in it? Um, you know, well, well, you know, why is there anything in life? I don't know. Um, <laughs> you'll have to ask God why He created dimensions uh, the way that He did. The Tesla there was very adamant that it was would not be smart to ever merge dimensions. Uh, he did say the first and second dimensions are so close that merging those two dimensions, which appears to be going on right now, could cause a lot of trouble, but would probably not end the world bringing in the third and our fourth dimension, uh, uh, the pure evil, uh, you've read about, uh, you know, things coming through um, uh, Stargate and so forth that uh, you really don't want to see, you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want them in the world. Uh, bringing in the third and fourth dimension uh, would cause worldwide uh, panic uh, probably would be the end of the world. So um, what CERN, uh, there, for whatever reason, the people doing CERN uh, are all atheists and uh, they are uh, apparently having some success 
merging the first and second dimension. Um, Tesla also said that the each dimension is more powerful than the dimension below it. So if a merge happens, the higher dimension uh, takes over. Well, that's what's happening right now. When you look at your Bible, for instance, and you see word changes, and you th see things like Berenstein Bears and uh, Chick a Flick, um, you know, uh, logos and J.C. Penney, and you know, you know, there's been hundreds of examples of this Mandela effect changing things, um, but so far nothing that uh, is going to even hardly be noticed by most people. Of course, 98% of people are uh, numb above, in my opinion, numb above the neck about the, called the New World Order, Illuminati, what's going on, you know, uh, so on and so forth. They just, if you try to bring it up, they just write you off as a, as a total, uh, you know, that you're mentally unbalanced. So, uh, personally, I just keep quiet. Uh, I, I also know that uh, letting loose Tesla technology in the world we have today with so much fighting uh, uh, country versus country, so forth. Uh, unfortunately, Illum the group Illuminati, New World Order, you know, so forth, Bush family, uh, Rothschilds, uh, Royal family, you know, all of the, the uh, 12 to 13 uh, most powerful ones, you know, uh, put in Bush and Paraguay into Google and just read about it, see what you come up with. Put in things like transhuman, put in things like, um, um, uh, uh, you know, eternal life. Go, go to the website www.2045.com, see what you think about it. Go to the website, Illumin, um, uh, immortalitybus.com all those people believe that they're going to become immortal uh, by becoming a, um, a transhuman artificial intelligence organic computer long term but uh, coined by Ray Kurzweil who used to be a friend of mine and I used to do coding for him but now he has sold out, as far as I'm concerned, and he's interviewed on that 2045 website, and uh, uh, he told me one time he's an atheist and plans to live forever by becoming a machine. And um, he appears to be success. He's having success, whether or not uh, He's my age, close to 70, so uh, he's running out of time. Uh, will he make it? Uh, I don't know, but um, uh, uh, immortality for like the Rothschilds and Rockefellers and so forth are already here by organ transplants. Uh, Rockefeller uh, at age 97 is on his ninth uh, heart transplant, which of course no hospital would do, but there are ways to get organs, unfortunately, uh, from people that don't want to give them up. But um, there's many things happening in the world that uh, really shouldn't be happening, but you know, there they are. So anyway, the Mandela effect is starting to happen how far will it go? I don't know. They're on the second dimension. They're merging the second dimension into the first dimension, our dimension. The second dimension is very close to the first dimension. 
if they only st if they stop there, it may never even be noticed. People will look at the Bernstein bears and uh, um, um, you know labels on other uh, cans and candy bars and so forth and. Uh, uh, the object of trying to get people to stop believing the Bible, um, well, they might succeed at that. I don't know how far they're going to go. Um, it just depends if they're going to stop here or go to the third dimension and open up the Stargate, which they have in Switzerland, uh, with uh, CERN, and allow in some of the inhabitants of the third dimension. And uh, that's not going to be good. Uh, <laughs> uh, watch any science fiction movie uh, with, uh, uh, you know, some really bad things happening and, th and you know, we'll call them monsters. Um, coming in and Satan directing the whole thing almost like a play, uh, that's going to happen or could happen if they decide to go to the third dimension. The people at CERN, in uh, my opinion, are uh, psychotic. They are atheists. You know, you could be an atheist. I, I'm not, uh, you know, uh, whatever, I, I'm Christian, but if somebody wants to be an atheist, that's okay. But uh, they have to be an atheist to have the mindset to do what they're doing at CERN of merging the second dimension into the first, which is happening right now, and then thinking, I'm sure they are, about opening up the third dimension. If that happens, uh, look out. Um, <laughs> I don't know if there will be any place to hide. Our preppers or anything else will do you uh, any good. Uh, uh, the people of the New World Order uh, that are directing this thing and paying for it, uh, they may think they can control it, but um, I don't think they can. Uh, open up the third dimension. Uh, all, well, I'll just say it, all hell will break loose and uh, no one will be able to stop or control what happens. And if they go into the fourth and fifth dimension, um, uh, you can just write this planet off as far as I'm concerned, um, uh, and which will, which is Satan's um, uh, goal and um, to take the souls of the seven billion inhabitants and believe that he has won over God, which has been the eternal uh, struggle of good and evil, God versus Satan. But uh, God is infinity and, and Satan is infinity minus one which has infuriated him set time immemorial. Uh, I don't see that changing. Uh, I have faith in God. Uh, I believe that uh, uh, whatever happens, um, Satan will not, the fallen angel will not become the new God. The Antichrist will not um, become the new God and evil will not reign over uh, the universe. So that is what is happening with uh, what's been called the Mandela effect. So now you know, uh, Tesla was right. Everything he said was correct. Much of it has been supposedly destroyed, but I know it, and you now know it. Uh, it's supposedly was destroyed. All the papers were destroyed. Supposedly destroyed in the fire that killed him and 24 
innocent other uh, down on their luck um, inhabitants of a row of a um, uh, you know pay by the night uh, cot type uh, living in New York City and uh, how odd that all of the papers and notes from Tesla's very small apartment escaped and um, were in pristine condition when I read them in the basement of a locked, uh, uh, very well guarded facility uh, many years later, but Tesla was left to die in that fire while his papers and everything else were taken. So, um, obviously intentional. So, this is W0TM signing off. Uh, I hope I've explained things enough. If not, uh, please feel free to uh, put comments down and I'll be happy to uh, answer them. Take care. W0TM Wodum is signing off.